I said that again. God has set it up that we cannot fail if we trust in Him. If you would look over into Isaiah the 29th and the 13th chapter, you will see for yourself that God said these people have come to me with a lot of lip service, but their hearts are far from me. Uh, you know, and, and we see that today a lot of people say they have been called by God, say they know Jesus, but they don't have no love for anybody, uh, even for themselves. But if you look at that 17th verse, you see that God said, I will do what? Marvelous things. See, Israel was rebelling against God, but God said he will do what? Marvelous things with them. And even the, the word will be spread out by the people. They will learn the word of this book and, and, and pass it on to others in the world. But I come back to tell you, Jesus said the same thing in Mark 6, Mark 7, verse 6 and 8. He said the same thing. And the thing that I want to lead you to is that God is teaching us yet today that if we stick with him, no matter what we have done, he can do some marvelous things in our life. Amen. I invite your attention today to Matthew, the sixth chapter. And when you find the sixth chapter, I want you to stand to your feet and train your eyes on verse 33. Matthew, the sixth chapter, and the 33rd verse. Matthew, the sixth chapter, and the 33rd verse. Amen. Matthew, the sixth chapter, and the 33rd verse. Matthew, the sixth chapter, and the 33rd verse. Amen. And it reads, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. You may take your seat. The title of this message is one simple title today. God is looking for inner purity. God is looking for inner purity. The title of it is inner purity. You see, a lot of us are running around saying, God, God, I love the Lord. But there is no inner purity in you. As Jesus, as God was saying, in Isaiah 29, as uh, far as these people, they, they have come to me with what, lip service, but their heart is far from me. As we learned this morning, that God is all about love. God so loved the world that he gave what? His only begotten son, that whosoever believe in him shall, shall now look at shall not perish, but have everlasting life. What it means by shall not perish, it means you're going to go through some things in life, but you will live on with Jesus Christ. Hello? Do you understand? You, do that mean that you're perfect? No. You will not perish. You, God will make a way out of what? No way for you if you stick with him. And you know what I love about God? He created everything. And, and, and if you look at over there in, in the Isaiah 29, you see that Israel had turned their back on God. But God said even he will do a what? A marvelous work with them. Now that was some 500 years before Christ came along. But now we see in Matthew 6, Jesus Christ is talking. But if you know anything about the gospel, Matthew 4, Jesus came on the scene, was led into the desert 
By the Spirit. And why was he led in the desert by the Spirit? To be tested. To set an example for what? You and I. Because we're going to go through some tests in this world. But one thing about it, when the devil tried to tempt Jesus, he said, Man does not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. But one thing about us, my sister and brother, we don't like to be told what to do. Amen. We as men and women do not like to be told what to do. But the biblical, the, the, the only way you're going to make it with Christ is you got to go what? Have the biblical principles that he wants you to have. Mm -hmm. We can have it our way. This is not Burger King. Say that. You cannot have it your way. It's either God's way or what? No way. No way. And Jesus was teaching us this in the sixth chapter. And if you look at the first verse in the sixth chapter, Matthew, he was saying, Take heed that you do not do your arms before men to be seen of them. When you're doing things for people, do it with a pure what? Heart. God wants in appearance. He wants to be Jesus inside of you. He don't want you to do things just to be doing something. Amen. God wants us to be uh, have that inner purity just as Jesus was. <laughs> Jesus didn't do anything without taking it before his father. He said, therefore when you do arms, do not sound the trumpet. You don't need no pats on the back to do the will of the Lord. All you need to do is what? Believe. We walk by faith and not by sight. If you believe that he is, then you shall what? Endure until the end. And look at the fifth verse. Jesus teaches us by prayer. A lot of us think you got to have those long, drawn out scripture prayers. Talk to the Lord the way you talk to me. Lord, I got a problem and I need your help. Amen. It don't take anything fancy to pray to the Lord. I have called people to pray and say, well, I don't know how to pray. Jesus. If you're hungry, you won't ask for some food. Uh -huh. <laughs> and it tell you very simply to ask for what you want. And then, you know, another thing we got to learn about this inner purity, it's not about what others think, Amen. it is about what God said it is to be. If you look at uh, the 16th verse, he was more over talking about what? Fasting. A lot of people are confused when it comes to fasting. But if, if we do it the way God wants to do, we'll be all right. You see, as your pastor, I will never call a joint fast. Why not, Pastor Bone? Because Jesus said the fasting is between you and God. You see, but we got on the bandwagon with man. Now, if you think about it, look what Jesus said in Matthew 16, chapter. I mean, 6, 6 chapter, 16, verse. Moreover, when you have fast, be not as the hypocrites. How are the hypocrites today? The hypocrite said, I command you to be fast for the next 40 days. Hell, fasting is supposed to be between who? You and God. Uh, 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 hypocrites are for sad uh, countenance, for they defigure their faces, and they may appear unto men as the fast. Nobody's supposed to know that you're fasting when you're fasting with God. That is between you and God. Very I say unto you, they have what? Their reward. If you want everybody to do it your fashion, that's all you're going to what? Get. Hell? But thou, when thou fastest, anoint thine head and wash thy face. In other words, do what you do what? Every day. In the name of what? In Jesus. Okay? That thou appear not unto men as to what? Hey, nobody needs to know that you're fasting with God. That's between you and God. Amen? Amen. 
Amen. Amen. But unto the Father, which is what? In secret. When I fast to him, pray and fast, you don't know it. You might see my lips moving sometimes. But I'll go around telling you that I'm fasting unto the Lord. See, God is looking for inner purity. We done got into a show me state in the world today. Uh, I, I heard, I heard uh, on uh, The View last week, uh, they were talking about Lent, this Lent, what was the day is the Lent or something, coming up, and that they was going to be fasting. This one lady said I was going to fast and uh, give up wine, but I couldn't give it up because one of the ladies told me why well, Jesus drank wine. The other one said I was going to give up this and uh, that. But what we said, why are y'all talking about what you're going to give up instead of asking God to help you with the, your needs? Amen. See, that's what fasting is all about. But see, we got the wrong impression. Everybody else says, oh, we will fast. My church is fasting. That's not between you and the world. It's going to be between you and who? In no. God. And he said, and he will what? If do it in secret, and thy father which sees in secret shall reward thee what? Openly. Oh, <laughs> I ain't bragging, but yes, I am. Why do y'all think we have so many breakthroughs? Because I'll be walking through praying and fasting unto the Lord. I'm not sharing food. I'm sharing what is wrong with me. And calling on the Lord to help me with my problem. Amen. God is, is looking for inner purity. And look at the next one. Uh, next verse. 19. He said, lay up, lay down up treasure. Look yourself treasure up on earth. Where moth and rust corrupt. And where thieves break through and steal. A lot of us, we want to collect everything in the world and call it what? Mine. God ain't worried about no stuff. He's worried about the inner purity in you. Are you walking in his way and doing his will? He said, but lay up for yourselves treasure in heaven. What is treasure in heaven? The Bible tells us we are to what? Visit the sick, the widows, the homeless, the fatherless. You know who is the fatherless? Those that don't know Jesus Christ. We're supposed to be by our father's business. Just as Joseph and Mary, when they left the fast, and about a day and a half later, they figured out that Jesus was with them. They went back to get him, and where did they find him? A 12-year-old boy sitting among the priests, asking questions and asking questions. And what did he tell his mother? I am to be about my father's business. God is looking for inner purity, for us to be pure in, 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 in his thing, not in the ways of the world. But we have gotten away from the word of God and gone and letting the world come into us and the church. Yo, we need to know the word for ourselves. Amen. Now, when I talk about the fast, some of y'all look at me like I'm crazy. But you read it for yourself, right? It's in the word of God. Jesus said it, and guess what? He is God. If he said it, guess what? I believe. So when I, when I fast and pray, you don't know it. So the same thing should be for you and I. That's why I, I, I will never call a fast in this church. I will tell you all to pray. But if you decide to fast and pray at the same time, guess That's what? You That's God. between you and God. Okay? It's showing that you're willing to give up and sacrifice yourself for the Lord. Amen? Amen. 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 He said, but lay up uh, for yourself treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust can corrupt. My prayers are laid up temple. I used to wonder what Grandma was saying when she said, I'm laying up temper. She was talking about her prayers. She was being obedient and doing what God right. wanted her to do. 
She was laid up telling her. So when it got cold in the winter, what? She was still warm. Hello? Y'all get it? Y'all get it. God kept his arms up. Even when she didn't have no wood, he gave her enough blankets to put on and keep her warm in the old house. You got to understand what I'm trying to tell you. See, we got to go back to the old way and do what God wants us to do. And where thieves do not break through us still, they cannot steal my joy because it belongs to God. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Don't worry about the one that kills you. Worry about the one that can kill the body and the soul. His name is Jesus Christ. He said, the light of the body is the eyes. If therefore thine eye be single, the whole body shall be full of light. If you have the same mindset of Jesus Christ, your whole body is going to be full of light. They will see nothing but love, joy, peace, long suffering, and gentleness, and goodness, and meekness, and faith, and most of all, temperance in you. He said, but if their eyes eye be evil, the whole body shall be full of darkness. See, the world loves darkness more than they do the light. Why do you think most thieves steal at night? Why, why do you think some of you call yourself, uh, well, I'm going to sneak out to the club the night and get me a drink. You go at night. <laughs> think nobody can see you. But I come by to tell you, God sees everything. He knows everything that you do, every breath that you take, every hair, on strand of hair on your head. Every pulse of blood that will go through your body. If therefore the light that is in thee be darkness, how great is that darkness? If there is nothing but evilness in you, guess what? Nothing going to come out of you but what? Evilness. No man can serve two masters. For either he will hate the one and love the other. Or else he will hold to one, to the one, and despise the other. You cannot serve God and them. Now you got to understand what you. Everybody know who God is, but do you know what man is? Yes. Material wealth. We think we're something because we got a big house. We think we're something because we got a big car. Oh, my pastor, this because he drives a Cadillac. We bought him a Cadillac. But if he ain't teaching you God's word, guess where that Cadillac going to take him straight to hell? Do you understand know what I'm saying? Listen, we got to know the word for who? For ourselves. Jesus already died on the cross and paid the price, but yet and still we do not want to walk with him. I don't, this is my body. I do what I want to do with it. And then when you get sick, the first thing you holler is what? Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Hello? Hello? But that's your body. Yeah. When God lets you have your way, then you want to call on who? Yeah. Him. And look at verse 25. And therefore, I say unto you, take no thought for your life, but you shall eat of what you shall drink. Not yet for your body. What ye shall put on is not the life more than meat or the body more than clothes. Now look at this. He said, now look at this. Look at the birds. Look at the fowls of the air. Have you ever thought about it? The birds, all they do is Fly from tree to tree. And be saying hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thanking God. They don't talk. They don't spend. They don't go on those eight hour job. But God take care of them. So if you just have that inner purity and believe for yourself. He will take care of you. This is what he's trying to teach us. He said, look at, behold, look at the fowl of there. They saw not, neither do they reap, neither gather in the barns. 
Yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Old Robin be riding by this tweet, flying by this house. <laughs> All day long giving God the glory. That's all God wants you to do, is have that inner purity and give him the glory. And he said, now, are you much better than they? Which of you, by taking thought, can add one cupid unto your stature? What can you do to change yourself from what God has already made you? I tell you all the time, you think you're a bag of chips? <laughs> and all of that, guess what? Dogs eat chips. <laughs> so don't have a... He that thinks of himself something when he's not is a what? <laughs> is a fool. Hello? You need to give God the God. Everything comes from the God. And all he wants you to do is have in a what? Purity. Inner purity. Be pure and within yourself about who God is to you. And look at verse 20. And why take ye thought for Raymond? Man, I can't go to church today. I ain't got nothing to wear. Hello? We will say that in a minute. Why take ye thought for Raymond? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They toil not, neither do they spin. And yet I say unto ye, that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. What God is saying, he doesn't you know the man, the man that was the wisest and the richest. Even in all his money, in all his wisdom, he couldn't look as good as that rose out in that yard. Hello? Amen. So your, your inner purity is what's going to save you. And you got to know Jesus for yourself. He said, wherefore, if God so clothes the grass of the field, which today is, and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he, shall he not much more clothe you? O ye are what? Little faith. All God wants you to do is have what? Faith. <laughs> Faith is the substance of things hoped for. But the evidence of things what? Not seen. If you see it and you're a child of the king, it already belongs to you. Hello? Because the Bible said we're joint heirs with him. He made and created everything. So guess what? If I'm walking in him, it all belongs to me. But what I need right now is a change of heart, oh Father. All right. I ask you to create in me a clean heart. Hello, how about that? Yeah. Ask God for what you need and watch him what? Work. That's it. But you got to have faith and trust in him. You can't go back to when you leave here today, go back what you were doing last night. Don't you know God sees all and knows all? He said, now 31, therefore, take no thought, saying, what shall we eat? Or what shall we drink? Or wherewithal shall we be closed? For after all these things, <laughs> after all these, do the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father knoweth that you have need of all these things. What I'm trying to tell you, simply, if you got a relationship with Jesus, mm -hmm. he already knows what you need. Amen. Because he's the one that wrote the manual yes. to all of the living souls. But the choice is up to you and I whether we want to live according to the manual. So my advice to you is to get to know the manual for yourself. Because God says, ah, after these things of the world that the Gentiles seek. Ah, but your Heavenly Father in heaven already knows what you need. He said, but 
Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all things shall be added unto you. What do you mean, ah, but seek ye first the kingdom of God? The kingdom of God uh, is right here before you. And God said in his Matthew, the fourth chapter, man does not live by bread alone. But by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God, if you live according to this word of God, everything that you need will be yours. Do you understand what I'm trying to tell you? But you got to have a personal relationship with him. Don't be led by the world and let them lead you to any and everything. Get to know Jesus for yourself. Because one day, He's coming back. Amen. And when he comes back, he's coming back for a perfect church. And I ain't talking about this building. This building, he ain't coming back for this building. He comes back for what he gave <laughs> you. And that is the breath of life. His name is Jesus. The Bible tells me that he came down.